hello welcome in this video uh, we are going to see how can we install scoop that is part of a Hadoop ecosystem so this is a just brief uh, tutorial we are going to see uh, just what we have to do is we need to download these libraries uh, from Apache site as I have already downloaded so this is the version I am going to install 1.4 from here you can click on this download it is providing us uh, a mirror to download the scoop libraries so click on this and download this pin dot uh, tar dot zz file depending upon your Hadoop version you are using so I have downloaded uh, Hadoop 1 version and I downloaded to these to these uh, downloads folder on my local file system and ext I extracted this archive file so here scoop one this is the version of uh, scoop I have downloaded and these are the different libraries now what we have to do is we need to move these libraries into a folder called user lib folder so that is the place where uh, any software component libraries will be placed or resided in Linux operating system so I am moving these libraries to that particular place so for, before moving I would like to create a directory in user lib called scoop directory so here I am doing that user lib scoop I would like to create yes directory has been created and now what I would like to do is I would like to move to this uh, scoop directory and I, I would like to move all these files so because uh, I don't want to provide this lengthy name for scoop that is why lengthy name for the directory I'm moving only these uh, files available in this directory so that is the thing I am going to do now so here I am moving all the files here to user lib folder user lib scoop uh, directory that has been created in previous step so that is the thing I am doing now so all libraries were moved from this place so there are no libraries or files and directories in this uh, directory now let us go there and view the contents in that folder user lib and then scoop we have created the directory name so all these are the different libraries and jar files available in this and as the next step what we need to do is we have to configure this scoop home directory in bash rc file to make this scoop available globally so this is the thing I am doing now bash rc file I think I already configured that one yes this is the thing we need to do so this is the command with the help of this command we are exporting scoop home directory uh, one moment let me change this one to the scoop only because we have created this directory user lib scoop and there is no version and here I am exporting uh, this scoop variable to the adding this one to path environment variable and bin directory this is the place where actual binary library binary files are available and I am exporting this one adding this one to the path and exporting the path environment variable so dollar scoop home gives the that path user lib scoop followed by bin directory and the existing value of the path also we are fetching with the help of this dollar path and we are adding existing path value so this is the just configuration we need to do in this bash rc file and everything is uh, over now now we are ready to play with the scoop uh, let us try to get the help from this uh, simple or else we can find the version of the scoop we are using I think this is not affected because this terminal window has been already opened let me open a new terminal window yes this is the thing we need to do and let us find the version of the scoop 
yes here 1.4.4 this is the scoop version i mean this version of libraries we have downloaded and now let us write a simple scoop script whether the scoop is working fine or not so here i'm just importing i'm um, just let me connect to the mysql on my system scoop is the database that is available in mysql sorry two l's i typed so this is my current database and these are the tables available in this and i would like to import this employees table uh, these seven records i will import into hdfs so that is the thing i am going to do import a connection string we need to specify and the port number as well i am specifying and database here is a scoop and username of uh, my sql database sorry that is a root and a password i would like to specify here yeah, using this password flag of course it is not recommended to specify the password in the command line but anyway just for testing sake that is why i am specifying here itself and table name here is employees and number of map tasks should be only one map task so this is the thing i am going to do now yes this is one more issue because this is the driver class we need to connect to the mysql database from scoop because scoop has been written in java and we need this jar file to be placed in scoop lib direct scoop home directory followed by lib scoop home followed by lib directory we need to place this jar file i think i already downloaded that one where downloads my sql connector yes and now i am going to copy this jar file to the scoop home directory followed by lib scoop home lib directory so that is the thing i am going to do now let me move to downloads folder and my sql directly yes copying that one not moving so here my sql dot jar file and where is that that is to scoop home lib and scoop resides here and lib followed by scoop and inside this we have lib directory right so now it will we be it will be copied to this directory and one moment yes it has been copied let's view the contents of that whether it has been successfully copied or not yes this is the jar file that has been copied successfully now let's rerun the same script we have written yes one moment yes let us run the same script we have typed okay i think name node has been entered into safe mode uh, let me exit that safe mode dfs admin hyphen safe mode let me get the status of this name node whether it is entered into the sorry i have done a mistake that is i will tell now first of all we need to enter into the secure shell and then we need to start all the demons that are part of hadoop hdfs so that is the thing i am doing now but i haven't started before i am starting just now only without starting these demons i executed the scoop script that's why it doesn't come to aware of all those nodes i mean demons 
Now let us rerun the same script scoop. Yes, name node has been entered into safe mode. That's why the script was failed. I'm just exiting from the safe mode. Now let me rerun the scoop script. See, we have got these seven records into HDFS. Let's go and view the contents of available on HDFS. Yes, employees table has been imported. Let's view the contents. Hyphen cat employees slash part hyphen m because when we import only map tasks was executed that's why part m file has been created and these are the contents these are the records we have imported from rdbms table that, that is table available in mysql and this is how we can install and uh, play with the scope thank you